If you are a company that sends bulk emails as a mail merge email campaign to external users, you want to watch this video because if you exceed Microsoft Exchange newly allotted quota for the day, you can prevent the entire company from sending external emails. In this video, I will summarize what's changing, the key rollout dates, and review the limits with you. Let's get started. So what's changing? Before this update, Microsoft calculated your external email limits per individual mailboxes. So each user had their own threshold of how many emails that could be sent externally. The new way is Microsoft's now moving to what they call the tenant level limit, which means that the entire organization shares one daily cap based on the domain. For an example, I'm track creation for E. So anybody that sends something out up under that email to external users are impacted. This is a big shift because it requires organizations to think strategically. You can't just rely on your end users to stay within their own limits. So now everybody's activity adds up. And if that number gets too high, outbound messages to external um, addresses will get blocked for 24 hours. I do recommend for IT exchange administrators, visit tech community for the detail FAQ. They get into questions like internal domain, are they impacted? The answer is no, but they also cover what counts against your quota. So I know that people are concerned about what about if there's a third party service or what about um, for on-premise? So make sure you um, take a look at that website and I'll drop the link in the description. Here are the key dates. Microsoft plans to roll this out gradually. If you have purchased under 25 licenses, it's effective starting April the 3rd. You will see that every you know week that they will roll it out to another group and then they should end um, by the end of June. So this is happening pretty quickly. Microsoft calculated the limits based on the number of licenses that you have. So the, the formula is 500 times the number of licenses plus 9,500. As you can see on the screen, you do, do get a lot. So you may not have to worry. But again, if you are one of those small businesses with one licenses and you have a um, email list of 8,000, 8, you should be a little concerned here and think of a plan. So what happens if you exceed your quota? You're going to be blocked. You will not be able to send um, emails to external users. This does not impact internal users. And you have a waiting period for 24 hours. Microsoft has provided this chart. I thought it was a great way how they explain if two large email campaigns go out in the same day. So in this example, if your quota is at 10,000, you send 6,000 um, email messages at 6 a.m. You have 6,000 is been counted for up till the next day at 601 right so let's say that if a second campaign goes out at three o'clock which was at 4,000 notice that from 3 p.m on that day one on day two is when that you know you free and up that 4,000 so the watch out is this area right here See, between 3 p.m. and 6 a.m., there is a overlap. And when that overlap happens, that's when you cannot send an email externally between that time. So that's major. Make sure you have a plan. And I'm going to talk about, you know, some of those tips, give you some tips um, at the end of this video. So hang in there with me. 
So one of the reasons why Microsoft is doing this is they are really trying to control and make sure that people don't take advantage of sending out these spam emails or a large amount of emails on a daily basis. So make sure you understand this chart um, before you actually um, start sending out your email campaigns. One of the things that you need to be aware of is you will not get any type of alert if you are reaching close to your capacity. So regardless if you are a IT exchange administrator or if you're a small business because you may have access to the exchange admin center, review your limits. So go to the exchange admin center, click on reports, mail flow you can look and see what your 24-hour limit is in this example it says 10,000 um it see that saying within the 24 hours um as, this is actually from my tenant i don't have um much activity going on here but it will show you your activity and there's some additional reports on this page as well so make sure you keep track to your external recipient rate limit. I saved the best for last. Plan ahead for your email campaigns. This is going to be crucial to your organization. The first thing that you want to do is team identification. Start by identifying which departments or individuals are sending bulk emails. This could be your marketing team, you can talk to your event coordinators and even the administrative assistants. They know what's going on in the organization. You want to have visibility into who is regularly communicating with large external mail lists and distribution lists. Number two, review your email list. Take a look at the actual emails list that's being used. How many contacts is on that list is really active, right? So here's an opportunity to get that up to date. Create a campaign calendar. Now that you know who's sending and how big these lists are, build a shared campaign calendar and make it visible for anyone can to review it at any given time. This way, this is going to reduce the risk of multiple teams sending out on the same day and maxing out your limits. For small businesses, you want to think of a tiering system if you have a very large email list because it's just you, right? So considering tearing them, batching them over two or more days instead of sending them all out in one day. That way you can stay under the threshold and avoid getting blocked. Last one, coordinate with your IT department ahead of time, every time. Touch base a day or two before a large send needs to go out. Make sure that there is no emergency communications that may be prioritized over your email list and um, to avoid any surprises. I hope this helps. Now, go work your magic.